we've had these uniforms. They were new, May of 2008 was the first year they were worn. For the seniors who graduated in 2012, they were new. Since then, I think when we first had that first year, they were you know, treated really nice. Everybody hung them up and treated them respectfully. Since then, some of the uniforms coming back in are not looking as well. They're in the bottom of a bag. They're not hung up. Um, the kids brag sometimes that they go as many days as they can without washing them. So a uniform needs to be taken care of. So we wanted to drive a point home on exactly what it costs us when we have to order new parts for a uniform, if we have to order a whole new uniform for a student, on how much this uniform costs, including the plume and everything here. It's $308.50 to uniform a student. Also, we'll be meeting, we did measure some of the incoming freshmen this year, this last weekend. And over the next couple of weeks, we'll be setting up appointments to start getting their uniforms on them. We'll be talking to your students on how to fit the legs. The pants are snapped so we can adjust the height for the pants. They're also adjustable at the top on the bib section. So we'll talk to your student on how to make sure it fits correctly. Once we get them fitted in the room, we'll have the parents out here. We'll bring your student out to show you how the uniform fits, what to look for, so you know how to help your child get ready as they're getting ready to go out for a football performance or a competition that you know what the uniform looks like. If there's any problem during the course of the year, you're thinking the pants, you know, my kid grew, they're looking short, or something's not fitting right, they're complaining it's tight, you can send an email to Mr. Redner and he'll let us know and we'll make sure we get that child in to take a look at the uniform and get them something new. Another thing I want to point out to everybody who has long hair, and this goes for boys and girls, when they're out on the field, we don't want to know that it's a boy or a girl. It's a unisex. So all the hair has to be up. No hair showing when the hat's on. Erica, put your hat on. <laughs> if they need a headband to keep the long hair up or the bangs up, make sure it's black because it blends in with the hat. We don't want a red headband or a green or something. So you can see all the hair is up and covered. Okay. Another thing we also want to point out is Erica is on the drum line. So there are, if you have a child who's on the drum line, their gauntlets, or pit, in the front line, their gauntlets are different than the rest of the band. They go on differently and they just look different. They fold flat. Ross is one of our drum majors and his gauntlets look the same way as the regular band membership does. The other thing we want to explain to you about the hat box they can store their gauntlets in the hat box. This is the right way to put the gauntlets in here. As you can see, these gauntlets are nice. They're flat. There's no crease. This student kept putting them in like this. What happens is when you open them up, you've got this crease that we, we can't get out. So it just starts to look worn. It starts to wear on there, and you, it starts to tear. So we really want the gauntlets to stay straight in the hat box, not folded. This is for the band members. The purple will be on both, like, same side. But for percussion, they'll be on opposite sides. Every uniform not only has a size, it has a number. We'll be marking that number down, putting it in the hat box so they know what pieces are theirs. We'll also have it in the charms program so we know what uniform your student has. Sometimes when they're getting changed on the bus, the jacket's off. You wind up in a pile, somebody grabs the wrong jacket, if your student goes to put their jacket on, and it doesn't, it's too small or too big, we can figure out whose jacket they have and who has theirs. The other thing we'd like to also say is not when you wash the uniforms, do not use any detergent with um, the non-chlorine chlorine bleach in it. Also, fabric softener is not good on them, it breaks down the material. So it's best just to wash them on a delicate cycle, make sure the zippers are closed, and then just hang them to dry. You could also dry clean them if you would prefer. Also, for pressing purposes, Erica has a nice crease at the bottom. If I needed to adjust these for another student, make them shorter, the pants are automatically going to try to go with the creases. So I take the lazy way out, and I'll wash them at home, and I take them to a dry cleaner just to press. <coughs> for $10, it comes back, and I don't have to deal with trying to get that crease out. So that's another thing you can do. And I know Woof Dry Cleaners over by Silver Nail across the net, they can say they're really good with, with paying for uniforms. Sometimes I think the kids get confused on how to hang the pants up, and they come many different ways. We'd really like... <laughs> 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 it's amazing how once the crew...
crease or a wrinkle gets in there, it is really hard to get it out. And it's, it's just one of those things you notice on the day of a performance as we're walking through and trying to adjust uniforms and you just can't get it out. And we've brought irons a couple times to try and get the creases out. It just doesn't lay right on the student. So we want them to fold them on the outer seams and it just it helps them to lay better. It keeps that crease in the front where we want it. And they zip up in the front. When, they, when the students put the uniforms on, we want them zipping up in the front for the pants and the jackets <coughs> in the back. Another thing that's on the hair thing for girls and guys, bobby pins and uh, safety, bobby pins and ponytail holders will be your best friend. Um, at many of the competitions, we'll have the girls put all the boys' hair up in little <laughs> ponytails, so it's all up on off of their neck, up in their hat. So you can throw those in your hat box so you have them. And then the jacket, we just zip up in the back. Check and make sure there are two uh, sides of the shoulder pads here, so make sure one goes on either side of the hanger. And when you're putting the uniform on, one goes in front, one goes back. <laughs> <laughs> It is funny, but you'll have kids come up to you going, something feels funny, and both the shoulder pads are lying in the front, or both are lying in the back, just a matter of adjusting and form. Also, each of the bags, the students will get a bag. Some of the bags will have, turn it around for us for a second. Some of the bags have a zipper pocket in the back. You can keep the shoes in there. Some of them don't. It's just the different bags, the different years we've bought them. I highly advise to always throw in like a pick and save plastic bag or a century plastic bag because after a competition if the field's been muddy it's been raining whatever those shoes are dirty and the kids have a habit of just throwing them in with that uniform so now they come home and you've got a muddy uniform from the shoes so if you can have them put the shoes in that bag tie it it's fine and they can put it in with the rest of the uniform and we don't have to worry about the uniform getting all muddy and that really is helpful when there's a competition or a football game one night and you've got a performance the next day you don't really want to try washing the uniform and get it ready to go for the next morning. Bag. <laughs> the bags can be confusing. The zipper is always at the bottom. And sometimes it looks like we should be hanging it the other way, but it always zips from the bottom up. So we don't need to we don't need to have a hole put on this side to hang it or anything. Yeah, this side can hang clip it on. <laughs> so that it'll zip up and then it can hang up on the hanger, um, on the bus or in the, on the rack here in the band room. Oh, my hat. <laughs> oh, right, Galton. Are you going to gonna keep any snacks oh. or any stuff like that? Put it in a Ziploc so it doesn't spill out onto the board. And girls, if you have your makeup, just put, make sure it's in some kind of Ziploc bag so it's not going to get your gauntlets all nasty or your cattle.